Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of Network Analysis and Synthesis. Today we are discussing a very simple yet very important topic which is current division and more popularly known as current division rule. The definition or the statement of the, this rule is pretty simple. It says that the current in any of the parallel branches is equal to the ratio of opposite branch resistance to the total resistance of course multiplied by the total current so in other words the definition is as simple as mm, uh, if we were to find I1 according to the definition it's pretty simple that it is equivalent to the ratio of opposite branch resistance which is R2 in the case of I1 because for I1 the resistance in the opposite branch is R2 upon the total resistance in all the branches parallel branches which is R1 plus R2 multiplied by the total current which is I and similarly I2 is R1 upon R1 plus R2 into I If you look at this basic explanation and definition of current division rule and you apply these formulas in uh, solving numericals, you should face no problem at all. But um, in this tutorial, I'd like to investigate further into how this current division rule uh, is formed and what is the rationale behind it. Now, whenever two branches are in parallel, we know that the voltage across them will be the same. So, I can say I1 is equivalent to V upon R1 and I2 is equivalent to V upon R2. Because the voltage across these two parallel branches at point A and B is V. And R is the total resistance of this these two branches in parallel is R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2 so in other words the, if the total current was to be found that will come out to be V by R and substituting R from this star equation we get V upon R1 R2 R1 plus R2 in numerator. <coughs> but uh, we know that V is equal to I1, R1 also, and it is also equivalent to I2, R2. The total voltage is equivalent to the product of current into resistance in this branch and the product of current into resistance in this branch. So, again, I can also be represented as, uh, if we were to calculate I from this equation, we could say that this is, in terms of this, uh, which is V by R, and I'll substitute V as I1, R1, and I1, Now, the denominator is R and in place of R, I'll substitute the R in terms of R1 and R2. This is what I get, finally get. and. this becomes I. Now if I was to find I1 from here it will be R2 upon R1 plus R2 into I which clearly is this equation or the current division rule and similarly uh, if we substitute I as 
V by R again and this time we say it is I2 R2 upon R we can write it as this R can be written as R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2 and a little bit of rearrangement will give us I2 equivalent to R1 upon R1 on R1 plus R2 into total current I which is the second equation of the current division rule. So this is how the proof of the current division rule is obtained and it is very simple and used at every nook and corner of the circuit during uh, solving of a circuit by any method. So I hope this quick tutorial on current division rule was of help and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great day ahead. Bye.